Hello everyone and welcome to Clarified Solutions four part series focusing on different topical areas centered around data. So today we're going to be talking about the preeminence of data in business and how it can be used to our advantage, how of course it can be manipulated and how it can be misrepresented. A very famous quote by Steve Jobs was data is king. Now this statement was made several years ago at a time where technology was not nearly as advanced as it is at this point in time. When this statement was made, it was heralding in this new era where the central focus was placed upon data and the insights that it can generate. So the discussion today is going to be centering upon data insights and how it is that we can find our way gradually to them. So in recent times, uh, there have been many questions about the validity of data around the world. This being in the analysis phase of that data or even the gathering of that data in the first instance and warehousing of it. I have the privilege of working with many different technological businesses, both in IT software and hardware, and I engage in fascinating discussions around data and the new ways that are being developed and discovered in order to best present the highest value insights from that data. So one interesting conversation I've had as of late was about data warehousing. Now, what we got down to was the absolute minutia of how you actually store data, how you then silo or categorize that data, and then how that is translated into meaningful insights. Now, when I say meaningful insights, I mean clear parameters that have been set around that particular data. Being a strategic copywriter, I look at data in a whole range of ways. Data, of course, can be represented in figures, but data can also, in a much more uh, tenuous sense, can be represented in words. Now, why do I say tenuous? Words, of course, are open to a breadth of interpretation, as often numbers can be as well, but to a much greater extent. So in essence, the applications for tenders and grants that I put together with my clients, this is gathering a very large pool of data and in qualitative and quantitative senses, and then combining that, synthesizing the information and coming out with meaningful outcomes that can then be relayed to a variety of different audiences. So meaningful insights, this is something that everybody is chasing, whether it's tracing consumer behavior patterns or predicting what they may be, whether this is looking at different ways in which policies can be informed as per general trends in the public or within a specific subset of a demographic. Data is used to make so many decisions now. In the transportation industry, it is absolutely pivotal to deciding upon the allocation of resources and the growth of different transport networks. And being based here in Melbourne, Victoria, I have noted a huge increase in the building of roads. Now, of course, this is apparently catering to massively increased demand and forecasted demand for these central arterial roads. Now, how was this conclusion come to? Through the data, through the evidence gathered of the amount of cars passing through this area over a certain period of time. Of course, data has always been prolific. The difference now is that we have the capacity to store incredible amounts of data. There are literally warehouses of specifically designed to store data and these are positioned throughout the world. Google, for example, is very famous for its very large, almost suburb size data warehouses, which contain huge numbers of servers, each which follow a particular function and have a certain role uh, to play.
So getting the meaningful data, that follows several steps. The first being, of course, the gathering of that data and the setting of the parameters in order to gather uh, the most accurate and refined data. Then, of course, the storage process and then the translation process into various softwares or different structures being used and then the interpretation of those results. So when you think about data, when you think about the meaningful data, are there instances that come to mind where you have potentially been surprised by a review of data within your own business? For example, as relates to spend or uh, labor efficiencies, or it could even be uh, the forecasting of something very subject matter specific and complex within your area of expertise, for example, within the scientific community. So think about these revelations as such and how they've been brought about by data. Have there also been instances where you're uh, surprised and you have to actually reform and reset your particular vantage point on a certain uh, topic or belief system because you have data that suggests contrary to what you've previously been subscribing to? It's a fascinating topic and one that will remain ongoing as technology advances and continues to have a central place within our lives. So I look forward to your comments below and please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Clarified Solutions Services. So I look forward to more discussions with you in the future and wish you all the best and every success. Take care. Thank you for joining us to up-level your business, skills, and knowledge. Click the links below and subscribe to the Clarified Solutions social media platforms to receive regular updates. Weekly resources will be provided along with gifts to assist you in your journey in up-leveling your business expertise and confidence. We look forward to continuing to support you in your journey as you become the leaders and the business experts you wish to be.